Live from across the tri-states, this is KHQA This Morning. It's your news now. We're doing a double, double gardening today. Kristen is in Hannibal at one of their community gardens. Yeah, common ground. Good morning. That's right. We are live at Common Ground Community Garden in Hannibal. Now, something a little bit different from our space back at the station is this used to be an empty lot. Just nothing was here. Now, take a look at it. It's absolutely beautiful. And someone who had a first hand in doing all that is Jesse. So, Jesse, tell me a little bit about this space. Um, it used to be an old commercial building lot. Um, if you actually dig six inches in the soil, you'll, you'll hit coal. Oh. So, we had to do um, raised bed gardening. Um, and it's part of the FEMA flood buyout zone so there are certain restrictions and one of the things that we had to do because of the flood buyout contract is that we need to turn into a, a space that um, for public use and so instead of doing just another park I thought it'd be cool to do a, another community garden and transform this space into not only a place where people can grow food but also have it as another recreational use and kind of our motto is that it's not recreation it's recreation so let's go play outside you know so it's a different take on that. And another great thing that I love about uh, this space here is that everything is kind of repurposed. I mean, you have mm -hmm. an old bathtub here. Yeah. Now, was that really important for you to make everything kind of repurpose and reuse, recycle? Yeah, I, I actually uh, do a lot of work in the community as a social engineer in other cities. And what I really like to do is teach people how to transform urban spaces um, economically and to do so with recycled materials and I think that that's really important to show people what you can do with very little and how creative you can be with it. Awesome well we're gonna get creative with a fence this morning wait till you see this so make sure you tune in a little bit later we're gonna show you how you can make a fence just out of sticks. <laughs> nice. Yeah, make a fence out of lumber I guess. Just Kristen is at this morning talking about uh, their community garden there and kind of getting a double dose of garden today. We are. Hey Kristen. Good morning, and it looks absolutely beautiful where I am. Now, at this part of Hannibal, you would think just industrial kind of an environment, but in the midst of all this is this beautiful community garden. Now, this is the Common Ground Community Garden, and the coordinator of that is with me now, Jesse Dryden. Now, uh, we have peppers here, everything growing, but a large part of this is also sustainability. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, what we try to do here is create a space that can be easily sustained in Hannibal, so it, it eliminates the cost um, of maintaining a garden. One of the things that we're going to do next, and, and this is what we kind of need, so I'm putting the word out there, um, we need some rain gutters to put on the shed because we're going to do um, a rain catching system and use 55 gallon drums to start collecting rain so that way we won't have to use the spigot um, water as much because uh, water that comes from the spout is not really good for a garden either. Rain water is the best me mechanism for that. So And so we're always looking for volunteers, right. donations, recyclable materials, anything. Yeah, and I mean we we will take, you know, financial donations. However, we prefer um, materials and helping hands. So let's take a look. This is probably one of my most favorite things in the garden that's recycled. These shoes, tell me a little bit about them. Um, Kids in Motion are helping us out here this summer and one of the uh, things that we wanted to do with them is to give them something to take home. Um, so they were planting, they you know made their own planters out of shoes, painted them, and then we planted them with, I mean, ch uh, chicks and hens and then oregano too. So just to give them something to take home. So the kids were able to take the other half of the shoe home right. and leave this one here. I think that's so great. Well, coming up a little bit later on the show, we are going to get our hands dirty and help out here at the community garden. We're going to be building a fence. <laughs> I'm glad she explained the shoes because I'd be like, who left the shoes here? <laughs> so now let's find out <laughs> if the fence has been whitewashed in Hannibal. Kristen is there live at the community garden. Good morning. We're not getting to the fences just yet. We're taking a little tour of the garden. So now we're kind of, uh, what area? Is this kind of the food area, sort of? Yeah, I mean, all of it is food, actually, except for some of the flowers. We try to use nature's natural defenses by bringing in marigolds, which help deter bugs and other pestilence from attacking the plants, and also bring in birds with the flowers that are in each bed. Um, but we have a variety of tomatoes, peppers, onions, potatoes, cucumbers. Yeah. I mean, just an assorted assortment of food. And you at home, you could get your hands on these vegetables. If you volunteered just a little bit of your time, so just four hours, right? Yeah, just four hours a month is all we're asking the, for the minimum requirement. There's always much to do, so you can definitely do more than that, but 
but on the other hand, you can't just come here and kind of, you know, water anything. You need to sign up for kind of an introductory class right. and there's a schedule that needs to be followed. Right. And we're trying to educate people and that's part of what we're doing. It's not only a sustainable garden methods, it's a sustainable community. And in order to sustain a community, you need to educate and teach people how to grow their own food. So it's kind of our, our method of education here. So get out here and get part of the community and volunteer your time. Get your hands on some of these fresh vegetables. Well, coming up a little bit later on the show, I'm going to get my hands dirty. Finally, get my hands on that fence. <laughs> <laughs> All right, nice. thanks, Kristen. Now, Kristen Aguirre, we're going to try to see if we can get her green thumbs working. Yeah. That's right, I'm putting my green thumb to work here at the Common Ground Community Garden, and we are starting to volunteer right here. Well, I am. Jesse pretty much lives here. So we're <laughs> going to work on this fence here that uh, we're actually using scrape kind of branches that were from the storm and repurposing them for this fence. So uh, the kids from Motion kind of touched on that one already, got a little creative. <laughs> yeah, um, and traditionally you're supposed to weave in and out of each of these posts, um, but we started from the top and just, I kind of just said go creative, and they were as creative as possible with it and I think it looks kind of cool and gives it some flair. So we're going to kind of put this fence together and while mm -hmm. we're putting the fence together now um, people watching may think why don't they just put a regular fence but we have to do one like this why? Right um, because the FEMA regulations for the flood buyout properties is that you can't have any permanent structures um, so working with Parks and Rec Department who manages the actual land um, we're actually just building a wattle fence which is made out of natural materials that way uh, we can kind of get around that permanent structure mm -hmm. um, and it's also going with the same idea that you have about making sure that this garden stays really sustainable. Right. And it allows more people to kind of come together and volunteer. Now, we have a ton of communities here mm -hmm. that are volunteering in uh, the garden. Now, if people want to volunteer, what do they need to do? Um, just contact me or Parks and Rec Department. Um, all my information is on the website, too. You can go to Facebook, and it's Common Ground Community Garden on Facebook, so you can access it that way, too. Okay, you can also check out connecttristates.com. We'll go ahead and link you to everything. So we're going to continue to work on our fence here, and maybe when you guys come back to check on us, we'll be halfway through. Yeah. <laughs> I like the, the confidence. Might be halfway through. They're at their Common Ground Community Garden talking about the need for volunteers. Four hours a week. That's right, this garden needs your help. They need volunteers to help to maintain the garden. So earlier we kind of, I volunteered my town a little bit. I just basically held things while Jesse <laughs> did most of the work, but I still came out here. And so we have our fence here, it looks good, but look at all the work they still need. So they need all these volunteers and we need volunteers to do everything from helping make it look aesthetically pleasing to gardening. Yeah, it's uh, it's water weeding. And then we have special projects like building the wattle fence, um, building arches over the trellis way. Um, um, using landscaping tile, which is something we also need if anybody has any extra and they want to donate. Um, so it's just kind of doing random things and, I mean, trying to make it look as aesthetically pleasing as possible and as creative as possible. It's all about fun. Yeah, and everything in this garden is sustainable, but if you do want to volunteer your time, don't just show up. You need to sign up because there's an orientation they kind of have to go through. Yeah, we want everybody to kind of be on the same page on the methods and make sure they know how to do the task they signed up for, too. Now, if you can't come out here and volunteer your time, you can donate. We're looking mm -hmm. for some donations. Yeah, um, particularly materials. Um, we prefer, you know, something like landscaping tile. We need gutters, 55-gallon um, drums for a rain-catching mechanism. Um, you know, it, but really just your time and helping hands and compassion would be great. Now, this was definitely your baby, Jesse. Mm -hmm. uh, what does it feel like to kind of see all of it come together a little bit? It's uh, it's it's rewarding. All, I mean, in and of itself. And the, the thing is, is that it bears fruit that I don't even see, you know? And so the, the people who get to stop by, who tour the garden when I'm not here, and who just have an appreciation for it, who just come here and sit and have a sense of peace, which is really what it's all about, is creating a garden that people can come to and enjoy and have sanctuary. And Well, the garden has an event coming up in August to learn more about that event and how you can volunteer, check out our website at connecttristates.com. Very cool. Yeah, we're going to get